Hey everyone, Mary here with a quick video on how to fix stitches. We'll go over the two most common problems which are tucked and drop stitches. In this video, I'll show you how tucked and drop stitches are formed, how to identify them, how to fix them, and finally how to blend those stitches in with the fabric. Let's get started with tucked stitches. I have a sample here where I knit a bunch of rows and I'm going to create a tucked stitch. Tuck stitch happens when the stitch on the needle does not fall to the bottom as it passes the yarn guide. It stays in the hook area. Then as the needle passes the yarn, yarn guide, it picks up the working yarn and now you have two stitches under the hook. The stitch is missing from the two little pegs and visibly this area stands out because it's different than the other spaces. Looking at the opposite side of the machine, this is how it looks for the first row. The second row, you'll notice that there are two stitches in the space. Again, visibly, it is different than the other spaces. This is after another row or two. You can see the missed stitch is floating across the other stitches. Now let's look at a drop stitch. A drop stitch means that the working yarn did not get caught by the hook. So I'm going to create one by pulling the yarn out from the hook and as the needle falls, the yarn will jump behind the needle, creating the drop stitch. I'll crank around so that the needle is about to pop up just to the left of the yarn guide. I'm pointing to the needle that is dropped. As the needle comes up, it pushes the stitch over the needle, creating the drop stitch because the new stitch is missing from the hook. You can see that the stitch is missing and there's nothing in the hook. This photo is immediately after the yarn misses the hook. You can see the yarn on the back side and the space looks the same as the others, so it's more difficult to spot right away. This is the first row around just before the yarn guide and you won't see any stitches on the needle. After the yarn guide, you'll have yarn in the hook but nothing around the little pegs. This is where you'll start to see a difference in the space. After several rows of knitting, it should be obvious that you have a dropped and or tucked stitch. For a drop stitch, you'll see a hole in your fabric. A tuck stitch is not as noticeable. You'll see the missed stitch as a loop. And there's usually some tension issues in that same row as seen here. Fixing tuck and drop stitches are done with the same process. The first is to bring that needle around to just before the yarn guide or when the needle is about halfway up. Remove the stitch from the needle. I like to grab just behind the needle to give some tension on the yarn while I use my loom hook to pull the stitch off the needle. Now unstitch down to the problem spot. I don't recommend pulling on the fabric to unstitch. I think this puts too much tension on the surrounding stitches and makes it more difficult to blend after it's off the machine. Now grab the stitch and I'm going to switch over to a crochet hook. Place your hook under the first bar of yarn, then insert the hook into the stitch. Next, pull the yarn over the, the stitch, and then what I like to do is I use my index finger 
to hold the stitch a little bit higher on my hook. Then I will hook the yarn and pull it through the stitch. Now let me show you that again. So pick up the bar, insert your hook into the stitch, pull that bar over, hook the bar, and pull through the stitch. So we'll just keep repeating this for every bar all the way up to the top of the column of stitches. And when you have one stitch left, you'll just place that onto uh, the needle. If you want to pick up more than one bar at a time, you can do that. Let me show you how. So I insert my hook underneath two bars, and then I'll insert the hook into the stitch. I'll take the first bar on the hook, and I'll pull that one over, and we'll pull the one bar through the one stitch. And now you can pull the other bar over, hook it with your hook, and pull that one through. Pay attention to the order of the bars on the right hand side. That order should be correct. Occasionally the left hand side will be out of order because of tuck stitches and if you had too many tuck stitches in a row. So just be mindful that the right hand side, uh, you should follow the order on the right hand side. And this is the last stitch and we'll just place that on the needle. And I'll show you that the stitches now look correct, except the tension is off. You can see the tension does not match the rest of the fabric. And this will show on the outside of your tube when we're finished. And I will show you how to um, adjust those or blend those stitches so it's not as noticeable. All right, let's move on to the tuck stitch, which is right here in this area. So I will bring that needle around so that it is halfway up. So like a drop stitch, a tuck stitch, I'm going to do the um, same process of removing the stitch from the needle. And I'm going to unstitch all the way down to the tuck stitch. And I'm going to hold on to that with my thumb there so that I don't unstitch past that area. Okay, here's, here's my good stitch. I'm going to pick that up and grab my crochet hook and do the exact same process. So I pull over a bar and then pull it through the stitch. And I'll work my way up this column of stitches just like I did in the other one. And you can pick up multiple bars at a time or one at a time. And here is the last stitch, and we'll just place that on the needle, and there you have it. So once it's off the machine, you may notice these um, 
uneven stitches. And I'll show you how to blend this in with the rest of the fabric. Now I've stretched this in a few different directions a few different times and it is still quite obvious that um, these stitches were re-strung on the machine. These two columns here. So to fix this, and this is a tedious process, you want to um, find the column of stitches which is shaped like a V it has a left leg and a right leg and you go through I'm starting here on the right leg and I'm pulling down and then I'm moving over to the next stitch and when I insert my needle into the left leg I'm pulling up and the right leg I'm pulling down and what I'm doing is trying to remove some of that slack in that column of stitches that we fixed. So you can go in both directions to the left of that column and to the right of the column. And you're just going to pull up and pull down and kind of even out that slack over the next few stitches. Unfortunately, I've had to, I usually have to do this a few different times within one row of stitches in order for it to look good. So the sooner you can identify a tucked or dropped stitch when it's on the machine, the sooner you can get it fixed and the less that you will have to do of this process. So this is how you blend the stitches together. You can see that one row is already looking better, but there's still more to do on this sample. So I hope this video helps you identify and fix tuck stitches or drop stitches. Let me know if you have any questions. To help my channel grow, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll link below some of the places you can find me. Thanks for watching.